Session 4. Battle Animations Welcome to the fourth session of PUBG Mobile Devlog. Today, we'll be touching on the in-game animations. We've always aimed to create the best Battle Royale Battleground on mobile, for the most realistic gaming experience. Hence, one of the unavoidable topics is how the characters move. We've meticulously polished every animation in the game, carried out extensive testing, and made loads of improvements. We provide not only the most realistic battleground animations, but also smoother performance on mobile devices. In PUBG Mobile, we've employed motion capture technology to recreate the most realistic tactical animations for climbing, jumping, and more, which have all been well received by players. At the same time, we also constantly improve existing animations, making them more realistic and perform more smoothly, as well as reduce their impact on mobile device performance. In version 2.8, we've made a series of improvements to animations. Let's take a look together at what we have improved. Number 1. Parachuting and Camera View Improvements Parachuting has always been a very important yet complex component of the game. We need to consider various aspects, such as the transition from the plane to the player's point of view, the animation of falling in midair, opening the parachute, landing on the ground, and the transition from an overhead view to a horizontal view. This is done to enhance visual consistency, realism, and the overall smoothness of the game. In the past, we continuously improved the animations for jumping to provide a better gaming experience. In version 2.8, we've adjusted the scene of players jumping out of the airplane. Instead of the camera abruptly repositioning when the player leaves the plane, we've now added a clear transition animation of the player jumping out of the plane. This addresses the discomfort caused by the camera repositioning. We've also improved the animation of changing directions when opening the parachute in mid-air, enhanced the dynamism of steering, and incorporated responsive animations based on the character's shift in center of gravity to make the overall experience more natural and realistic. We've also improved the camera view after landing. Before, switching from the overhead view to the player's point of view was quite jerky, but now it's been improved so that it gradually changes to the player's point of view in a smooth transition. Number two, animation blending improvements. Another complex animation component is blending animations. We need to seamlessly blend multiple animations together without affecting your gaming experience. It may sound simple, but it's not easy to make it appear realistic, natural, and smooth without increasing performance load. After a long process of creating, testing, and revising, we've made some improvements to animation transitions in version 2.8, such as climbing, reloading, sprinting, switching firearms when entering and exiting the water, as well as using consumables, reloading bolts, and the responsiveness of going between standing, crouching, and prone positions. Improving these animations can make the overall experience more realistic and seamless. However, please note that these improvements won't increase the time needed to reload or switch weapons. Instead, it will only make these animations appear more fluid. We hope these adjustments can provide you with a smoother gaming experience. Alright, that's all for this devlog session. See you next time!